Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is moving up, moving down. Yeah, it's a bit like a roller coaster here at the moment. We had some wild intraday volatility and we are still in the range, however. So we had a really good reaction earlier today to support. It was a nice intraday rally, but it didn't lead anywhere. Okay, it, I mean, okay. Maybe it wasn't a great reaction to support because it was not a, let's call it sustained upside breakout or anything. No, we're still, we're still where we, where we left actually. <laughs> so we are still where we started the day in terms of price. Yeah. Sort of just below 50, uh, just below 60 K or mid 59 K region. And we, we, we did hold support. So the support area that we talked about in the previous update here, 58,860 to 59,050 still holding. And we could still watch for a third wave rally. I have to say though, the decline that we see right now, the decline that happened after the intraday rally doesn't clearly suggest yet that wave three to the upside has started. So just before we saw that surge, that intraday surge here, and it was it was literally just a five minute candle here. Um, quickly before we saw that, I just said, even though we came down into support and was starting to look quite bearish, I posted it on Discord that we still have no decision. You know, we're still in the range. So really anything can happen within the range. So we need to see a break minimally below 58,850 um, to indicate that, you know, this range breaks, but then we are still in the larger range. Okay, even we have smaller range here, we're holding above micro support, but the overall range can be seen here. We talked about it in the first video today. It's just this sideways move here. Yeah? And we see less volatility than we saw when we started the range, but it's more rapid up and down movement as the market has no clue what it wants to do. Really quite random movement at the moment. That's what these corrective structures, however, do. Okay, that's what characterizes them. So these really, really choppy corrective sideways structures, we need to be very much aware that this is just normal. Uh, there's nothing unusual about it. It has nothing to do with manipulation. This is literally at the moment just the market is undecided. It wants to do all sorts of things at once. And because there are so many different corrective patterns that can unfold, I think more than 12 in Elliott Wave, um, you can't really guess which one is going to play out, right? Especially these complex connect, you know, it's very complex and very much connected um, patterns that we have here. ABCs and possibly even a triangle. So we'll, we'll try to come up with what, what makes sense and to some stuff that's actionable. That it's actionable can be seen here because the support area already was tested three times. Of course, it's only micro support, but essentially um, because the market is holding support, we have no bearish, let's say bearish confirmation, but we also couldn't break out to the upside impulsively. So that means we still have no decision and we still have to be on the side of caution. Someone posted in the last video, um, oh, it was something like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it's not only me uh, who can't tell what, you know, what's going on because like apparently we are, you know, the market hasn't, hasn't made a decision. Well, we, we can say what's going on and, and one outcome of the analysis is that we are just moving in corrective structures. It's a range, okay? That, that is an outcome of the analysis, you know. Um, sideways is one typical direction in markets. In fact, most of the time markets are correcting. You see that here, you know, quick surge and that's an uptrend and then we are just going sideways. Obviously, what we like to get back into, whether up or down doesn't matter, but we wanna get back into a trend um, like this, right? I mean, this was pretty easy to trade. There's not much work required. This was a nice, you know, you know, nice move up really. And now we're just chopping around here. Okay, this is just a huge sideways, just huge sideways price action, just sideways, corrective, chaotic price action. Um, but we wanna get back into a trend, into a clear trend. Uh, whether it's, this is down or up, I mean, as a trader, it really doesn't matter for us, but we wanna see, we just wanna see a clear trend because you often get chopped up in these sideways movements. And this correction started in March. I mean, it's been a long time now, long time. So getting back into some kind of a trend would be good. 
at least getting some clarity in the short term because correction is always, yeah, the clarity is limited, okay? I mean, we know that we are in a correction. One second. But we can define the range, you know, parameters. But without any impulses, we know that we have to be very much on high alert all the time. And that doesn't really constitute simple trading okay so we have to be on the side of caution and we have to be on high alert all the time because this is not easy <laughs> to handle okay um at least we got some volatility but it broke it broke down quite quickly so we're back in the middle of the range you could say um from a from a bullish point of view i think it's clear we talked about it the white count okay a break to the upside um here would indicate we could be rallying in wave three this would now require a break above the intraday high at uh, 60,250. To the downside, a confirmation that we are breaking down, earliest confirmation would be a break below 58,850. And we're likely following that yellow wave count that could eventually actually send us into the um, mid 40K region. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.